If you ask someone what the most important cities in the USA are, New York and California would definitely come up. NYC is, after all, the home of immigrant communities from every corner of the globe and the nerve center of the global financial system. Cities just don't get any more world. In Northern California, you have Silicon Valley, which essentially exports tech concepts. This region is also pretty worldly in that half of it exists in Asia, much of it in the Pearl River Delta, the region that first put the China in Made in China and still dominates global manufacturing as far as technology. And as far as Los Angeles, its entertainment industry is the most important point of export for US culture abroad, which influences the world with what's known as soft power. But not everyone knows that the New Orleans region is also a major heavyweight in the US. Now you might ask, but what does NOLA have to do with the important stuff? It's a small city that likes to party. Well, it's no finance or tech capital, but New Orleans' importance has to do with what passes through the city, the Mississippi River. Between NOLA and Baton Rouge, Louisiana's capital, lies the most important port system in the USA. Now, it wasn't always this way. In colonial days, the Gulf of Mexico was difficult to ship to. If you wanted to get goods to New Orleans and all you had were sails, you needed to make the trip from the Yucatan and hug the Gulf Coast after which you need to continue on all the way to Florida. This tacked a long, long leg onto any ship's time in the Caribbean, a fact that ended up basically sidelining New Orleans and thus its usefulness as a port for much of its early existence. These days, that is definitely no longer the case. The Gulf of Mexico, the large body of water in the northwest corner of the Caribbean Sea, is probably the most important region in the Western Hemisphere in terms of its ports. The Gulf Coast has all the major points of departure for Texan oil, one of the two ports that feeds goods to gargantuan Mexico City, a group of regionally important ports in the US, Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean, and easy access to the Panama Canal, which means that goods leaving the area can shortcut to the Pacific as well as cross the Atlantic. But the largest and most vital port system in the Gulf exists in Louisiana, at the mouth of the Mississippi River. As far as U.S. trade, it's important to remember that the Mississippi and its tributaries run through the bulk of Middle America, from Montana to the Great Lakes to Arkansas to Pennsylvania. If you want to ship out of these regions on water, the freight will eventually run along the Mississippi and through New Orleans. Now, you may have heard that ports like that of Los Angeles are the biggest in the country. Well, LA's main export is empty shipping containers. Data on actual trade in 2020 was difficult to find, but Los Angeles' statistical edge is that it imports a massive amount of goods from Asia. The gigantic port of South Louisiana, which is usually completely absent from biggest port lists for whatever reason, even though it is clearly one of the largest in the U.S., is more geared towards exports, both to the world and other parts of the USA itself. Add in the surrounding ports of Baton Rouge and New Orleans, and it's clear that as far as trade, especially in goods like domestic cars and grain, the Louisiana port system dominates in the U.S. Sure, there is competition, mostly in nearby Houston and the surrounding Galveston Bay region, which is easily the second largest port area in the U.S. In 2019, Houston, by far the largest port in the Texas region, was balanced pretty evenly between taking in and shipping out goods internationally while the port of South Louisiana is mostly an exporter in global terms, which makes sense when you have such heavy industries as factory farms and the automotive industry shipping through it. And both are extremely vital to trade from region to region of the U.S. as well as global trade. However, the industrial might of the Louisiana ports has a cost. For example, upriver from NOLA, we have areas like Cancer Alley, a chemical and industrial center not too far from the Crescent City. Now I'm sure it makes a lot of money, but the people that live there are understandably unhappy about all the pollution there. Let's just say that its nickname is deserved and that the situation is truly tragic. As I mentioned before, the Mississippi essentially drains almost the entire inland United States. So you historically see most of the nation shipping its products down the river, which is why the Mississippi has long been referred to as the father of the United States. Technically, it flows from a lake near the Canadian border, 
but as it travels down the continent, it's fed by the smaller Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Des Moines, Missouri, Ohio, and Arkansas rivers, many of which are fed by regional rivers upstream. Because of this, well over half the states in the USA have access to the greater Mississippi watershed. Yeah, and it all flows through New Orleans. Don't get it twisted, the ports of Louisiana are a huge deal. On a side note, the Gulfport region of southern Mississippi is home to a railroad shortcut, which cuts from a point on the Mississippi River above the Louisiana ports to this region via train tracks. This was a sort of get-rich-quick scheme, but I'm not quite sure it worked. In any case, this region was devastated by Katrina, and its importance as a shipping center took a hit there. The point here is that the Gulf Coast is far more important to the global economy than you might think. Shipping ports here aren't on the scale of giant Asian ones like those of Shanghai, Singapore, or the Pearl River Delta in the western Pacific Ocean. But in the Americas, this region is a dominant powerhouse. Just because California and the East Coast get more shine doesn't mean the Gulf isn't on that level as well. You've been watching another map video. And if you got this far, please throw us a like and subscribe to see more. We shoot for accuracy, but you should check the video description for any corrections. And if you want to learn more about the Caribbean, click on that playlist. Peace out.